YouTube, this is Detail Dale and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be doing a classic flat top fade, kind of tight on the side, like mid tight. And there's a lot of information in here that I'm sure you could benefit from, so check it out. So we're gonna start with the number two attachment, and removing the bulk of the hair off the sides and off the back. Then we'll go to the number one attachment to continue the process of removing the bulk off the sides and off the back. Always make sure to remove any excess hair. Now we're going to start with the and a slimline on the right side to start balding out a medium type fade. It's going to drop a little bit in the back, but we're going to fade it pretty tight on the side. And then we'll go over to the left side to meet the back. As you can see, there it is. And always make sure you use a brush to make sure everything's nice and smooth. And we are going to cut against the grain with the blade closed. And we're going to start from the left side and we are going to work our way around to the back and then to the right side. Now we're going to move to the Andes Masters and we're going to knock out that bottom line starting from the right side with the blade closed, going up against the grain all the way around to the left side. And as a footnote, it is always good to stretch the skin so we can really get up under that line to get that perfect fade. So any lines that the Andes Masters did not remove, the slimline will knock out the remaining lines and we'll start from the left side and we'll work our way around to the back and then to the right side. We have here our Andis Zero attachment, and we're going to start from the right side and work our way around to the left side, going against the grain with the blade closed. Once that is completed, we will go to our wall seniors to knock out that bottom line with the blade open, starting from the left side and working our way around to the right side. And if you have to adjust the blade, do so. Whatever it will take to knock that line out. If you have to adjust the lever on the side halfway or more than halfway, or all the way open or all the way closed, make it happen. Whatever it takes to knock out that line at the very bottom. As you can see in the video, the line is completely gone. The first initial line, which was at the very bottom, and then the second line has been completely faded out. I will grab my number one attachment and I will cut down starting from the right side with the grain. And as I cut, I will be going with the grain going downward, starting from the right side to the back and then to the left side. Thank you. 
I will also be using this number one attachment to go against the grain upward as well to knock out this remaining line, working my way back to the right side. And as I move about, I'm changing the lever halfway, maybe fully open, maybe fully closed. And I'm just working that line out as we work our way around to the right side. Once that is complete, I will then go to my zero attachment and will continue to knock out that line. Starting from the right side, working my way to the back and then to the left side. Once that I have removed everything that I possibly can remove with that zero attachment, I will then start working from the right side to the back to the left using no attachment at all going against the grain all the way around. The fade on the sides and the back is complete and now we will start working on his flat top. I have here a Mataki comb which I will be using as a guideline to set the tone for creating his flat top. I am gauging how his flat top will appear from the right side to the back and then to the left and of course the top. I will start his edging up on the right side across the front to the left side and we'll use those lines as a guideline to how we want his flat top to look from the side and from the front. I am using the wall cordless clips freehand to construct his flat top. Moving in an upward motion, you don't want to go in, you want to stay outward. Afro haircuts or flat tops constantly want to keep picking the hair out to make sure everything is even so you'll cut the hair pick it out go back and cut the hair again pick it out as many times as you need to get that perfect shape Now we'll begin to level the top free-handed with the wall cordless clips going back and forth from the left side to the right side, from the right side to the left. In this box is a pair of, you guessed it, Mataki shears. And these shears are the shears that I will be using to bring his flat top to perfection. Usually I would use seven inch shears or eight inch shears, but Mataki shears are so smooth and precise and super, super sharp that you can't go wrong with them. They could be five inches, they could be six inches, it doesn't matter. You're gonna get precision every single time using Mataki shears. And you can go to MatakiShears.com and get yours today. And I guarantee you will be satisfied. There it is, the flat top from the right side. 
nice clean fade crispy edge up no filter this is the real deal no enhancements there's a the drop fade in the back as you can see I'm looking at it from all angles sheer perfection and this is the flat top fade hey guys I really appreciate you checking out this video. I hope you found it very beneficial. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Again, thank you for watching, and this is Detail Dale.